STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And STEM literacy is the process of using available resources for problem solving purposes. Being in a STEM school has really helped to prepare me for the real world. My class just participated in the Greenwood Genetics Lab where we tested to see if blood samples had sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease is a disease that causes blood cells to be deformed. In the lab, we were shown how to put the blood samples into a machine that showed us if they were sickle cell or normal cells. That's how we put the S in STEM. Here in ET, me and my fellow classmates have been assigned this advertising project for our broadcast journalism unit where we have to be director, assistant director, three cameras, and also operate an audio lighting board. Here in ET, we incorporate the T in STEM because of all the equipment and all the fantastic devices that have been giving, given to us, including the cameras, all the soundboards, and everything else, including this studio. I like to do things in computer science major that uh, relate to everything else going around in school. We're working on a play. Lots of different majors are contributing. And one of the things that we're doing is creating um, a group of small robots to crawl around the floor and act as creatures that uh, crawl around the seafloor. So we're creating this robot so with the uh, interchangeable pieces on top. We'll be digging a hole out there so this fits on top. And then we can create sea anemones and slugs and small crabs and other things. We're also configuring the robots to um, follow the leader. We can configure one robot so that the others uh, go in the exact same path so we can crawl along the floor as a group. The Rubik's Cube has uh, an opportunity for us to really look at problem solving and how we react to problem solving. Um, my students, most of them have never solved a Rubik's Cube. Uh, they're going to experience frustration, they're going to experience failure, and we talk about how we react to that and, and what it means to go back and attack the problem again, even when there's been a mistake, even when there's been a failure, uh, and to, that it's about getting to that to that end and the satisfaction in solving the problem uh, rather than giving up or um, just kind of bailing out uh, of the project. So it's given us a really great opportunity to, to learn how we deal with problem solving and how we deal with failure and be okay with that because after all it's just a Rubik's Cube, right? STEM is often talked about in terms of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as though those are separate things, but the real heart of STEM is tearing down the walls between science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and putting those concepts together to create and innovate in the real world, solving real world problems. That's when an education becomes STEM.